Hello and welcome to the first of my Python tutorials. Uh, if you don't know, Python is a fairly simple uh, programming language. Uh, if you've watched the HTML, some of the HTML videos I've done, uh, HTML is not really a programming language. Uh, whereas this is actually, you know, it's for maths and all that fun stuff. Haha, 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 yeah. So, to get Python, uh, what you're going to want to do is go to your browser, uh, type in Python, uh, Python, yep, top one Python programming language, download, uh, pick one that works for you i don't know the specs of your computer and i don't really understand th that bit I, I get that bit yeah so just download well, the one that works windows for windows mac for mac obviously um yeah so once you've downloaded that you're going to want to search for idle no you're not well you're gonna want to spell it right for start uh idle it's the it's the one with the because it has nice colors open up that uh, makes it just nice to use and if you start a new window um we can start pythoning so i like to always save first um <coughs> so i don't know um tutorial but dot py you know, the, the, these are saved as dot py for python um, so in python one of the things you're probably going to use the most is the is a print function this is a pre-built function already on uh, the python libraries and you just put print brackets and in there in speech marks you just put what you want it to print uh, hello and you press f5 to run it prints hello over here so this is the console which is where all the stuff you make happen over here you can test it in here have that open and uh, if you don't know how to do this um, if you got them full screened or whatever you just drag one to the side drag the other to the side and you have them open at the same time um, so this is in this tutorial I'm probably going to teach you just the use this as a basics of programming the basic ideas if you know anything about programming you're probably not going to want to watch this because this is going to be really basic um, so first of all I'm going to talk about an if statement an if statement is saying that if something is true if this number is this if something do something if it's not this or if it's something else do something else and that's one of the uh, main things that you're going to be dealing with in programming so we can do this now um, how so to to get an input so to get you to type something in here you do um, a variable so you want to do something like uh, a variable equals Oh yeah, Ver uh, so you do it equals input, and then we can just put yes. We're going to put y or n. So this is going to ask them whether yes or no, uh, or if you want yes or no. The long way. Um, so they we say hello. Now when I run this, it's going to say hello. And it's going to say yes or no. I can type anything in, nothing's going to happen. So we now need to uh, verify this with an if statement. So you're going to put if a variable. Now, if you don't know what a variable is, variable is a way that the computer stores a value, like uh, a number or a word. And uh, this can be it can be 
we can change into more than one thing so you can you can change it as much as you want um, and yeah it's just a way of uh, not it makes your life easier so instead of let's say you you, you write you I want to do this okay I want to write this again and again and again and again and again um, and I'm always writing hello I'm always typing hello well I can say hello the, the variable h equals hello now I can make my life a lot easier if I'm typing out and out again and again and again I was typing h here and now okay oh because I yeah now when I run this oh okay yeah you have to declare the variable bef before otherwise it doesn't know what it is um, my bad uh, yeah so now that works so now if I'm saying hello yes or no I can just put h plus yes or no hello hello see it just makes your life easier but we'll talk about that later um, so we're gonna say if this uh, is equal to yes we're gonna write um, so you do if variable and then you do a colon and then we're gonna tell what we want to do uh, print mm, yes we'll, no we'll print boo watch your why um and l if no yeah l if which basically means uh if so if 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 this equals uh yes do this if it equals no um so you could have if it equals no da -da -da -da, if it equals maybe da -da 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 -da. uh so you can use that to actually state it but uh so you say just do the same thing if variable um oh no obviously you need to do if variable equals um and the way oh there's so much so much to learn there's so much to learn too many things to teach at once um so basically instead of saying if i try and put equals in here it's going to say if variable equals and the equal sign is used to state something so if i say if variable equals uh yes it's going to try and make variable into yes because i said make it this what you use is this it, it's a comparative uh symbol so it's going to say if this is the same as this instead of this is this it just moves the is to a question sort of uh so yeah so you gotta remember that that's that that, that does confuse people a lot um when you're programming you can make a lot of mistakes um so if it's not yes but it's no then we're gonna print okay and this is where you use the else else which would be we're going to use it as if if they didn't really do anything at all if they didn't type the right thing at all uh so like they, they maybe spelled it wrong uh we're going to print you spelled it wrong yeah let's see what happens hello so it's used the variable hello there so that's that just makes your life easier yes or no yes boo so we turned here it printed hello okay it printed hello all right then it said um yes or no um by saying yes we made this variable into this okay okay you got me you got me so by saying yes here this now equals this okay and under that is it because it reads down okay and now it's saying if it equals yes do this and it stopped there but if we were to do it again and say no 
uh, it's saying it's printing hello um, it's then saying yes or no uh, so so the variable equals no is the variable does the variable equals yes no nope, so skip this bit does the variable equal no yes do that and that's how computers work pretty much Blah. and you spelt it wrong so have a play with that change it around um, yeah so I will see you next episode if you enjoyed it feel free to like and subscribe that would be awesome yeah bye